Hack or cap? Can this chip bag block cell phone GPS signals to prevent tracking? Let's find out. This hack was featured in the movie Terminator Dark Fate. Uh-uh. I keep my cell phone in a chip bag. The foil blocks the GPS signal, so they can't track me. Sarah Connor said she keeps her cell phone in the chip bag to prevent people from tracking her cell phone's GPS location. Well, why would this work? She mentions that the chip bag has foil inside. In physics, we would call this a Faraday cage. Wikipedia defines a Faraday cage as an enclosure used to block electromagnetic fields. It may be formed by a continuous covering of conductive material or by a mesh of materials. A Faraday cage operates because an external electric field causes the electric charges within the cage's conducting material to be distributed so that they cancel the field's effect in the cage's interior. Examples of Faraday cages are the doors on microwave ovens, which is why your eyeballs don't fry when you look from the outside, elevators, which is why your cell phone sometimes doesn't work inside them, RFID shielded wallets, and booster bags lined with aluminum foil to shoplift items with attached security tags. Sarah Connor is simply using physics to prevent people from tracking her. Faraday cages are real, but will a chip bag be sufficient? I purchased a bag of ruffles from the grocery store and will be testing out a few scenarios in this experiment with my Samsung A50 smartphone. 1. Will the chip bag block the GPS receiver inside the phone? 2. Will it block the cellular radio inside the phone? And 3. Will it block the Wi-Fi radios inside the phone? Since I don't want myself covered in chip crumbs, the first step in this experiment is to clean out the chip bag. I dump out the chips and save them for later. Here you can see the lining of the bag. It looks like there are three layers. The bluish outside layer, then a layer of foil, and then the white inner layer. I then use the sink to rinse out the inside of the bag. After a pat down with paper towels, the bag is clean and ready for testing. Please consider giving this video a like if you find it valuable and subscribe if you want to see more content like this or have other suggestions. Question 1. Will the chip bag block the GPS receiver inside the phone? To answer this question, I'm using the GPS Essentials app from the Google Play Store. For privacy reasons, I'm leaving out the coordinates, but we can verify GPS data with the number of satellites and altitude. Note, we have 15 satellites, GPS location, and date and altitude are live. I then place the phone inside a paper envelope to help prevent the foil in the bag from activating the touchscreen. The envelope does not affect this experiment. Then I place the phone inside the bag and fold the top twice and clamp it using my alligator clips, cause it seemed appropriate. You can see the number of satellites dropping after the phone has been placed in the bag. And after a short time, the phone experiences a total loss of GPS reception. The GPS Essentials app shows the location provider switched to Wi-Fi, although I do have Wi-Fi turned off, and the altitude and date turn green, which indicate the data is not current. The number of satellites displays one, although I do not believe that is true. However, if it is, the number to the right, zero, is the number of satellites being used to determine the location. And a reminder, it takes three to four GPS satellites to get a proper location. When we take the phone out of the bag, the data populates once again and the number of satellites increases. This hack for blocking your GPS signals is confirmed. But that doesn't mean you still couldn't be tracked with your cell phone in the bag. What about the cellular radio? It is used to make phone calls, send text messages, and deliver the internet to your phone. Will the chip bag block the cell radio inside of the phone? I'm answering this question by calling the test phone from another phone. Here's what calling the phone normally sounds like with no interference. Here's a look at the screen. Wi-Fi is turned off and only the cellular connection is active. I place the phone inside the envelope and then inside the bag, and then I seal the bag with alligator clips. Next, I use my second phone to call the phone inside the bag. After a few rings, the call goes to voicemail. This hack for blocking your cell signal is confirmed. But even that doesn't mean you couldn't still be tracked with your cell phone in the bag. Your cell phone's Wi-Fi radios are separate from the GPS and cellular radios and deliver internet from a local access point. I'm testing the Wi-Fi by making a video call between two Instagram accounts. Here's what it sounds like normally. As you can see on the status bar, I have removed the SIM card so that only the Wi-Fi radios are being used. 
And speaking of Wi-Fi radios, most phones have two of them. One is for common 2.4 GHz networks, and the other is for 5 GHz networks. We'll be testing both. My first test is with my phone connected to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. I launch Instagram and then I place the phone inside the envelope and then inside the bag. I seal the bag with my alligator clips. And now I initiate the video call from the second phone. As you can hear, the phone inside the bag is ringing. Now I'm connected to the 5 gig Wi-Fi network. I place the phone in the envelope and then inside the bag. I seal the bag with my alligator clips. And then I initiate the video call from the second phone. Again, as you can hear, the phone inside the bag is ringing. This hack for blocking your cell phone's Wi-Fi is cap. Doesn't work. So you could still be tracked if your Wi-Fi is on. You wouldn't necessarily even need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network since your phone is constantly sending out Wi-Fi pings to see if there are any known networks in proximity. But why did the chip bag not block everything? It worked for GPS and cell, but not Wi-Fi. One factor may be the frequency used of those signals. GPS is around 1.3 gigs, cell ranges between 700 megahertz and two gigs, and Wi-Fi is either 2.4 or five gigs. Another factor may be the power of the radio. Stronger radios can penetrate thicker objects. So what is it gonna take to block the Wi-Fi signals? Let's add some additional Faraday cages to our experiment. But instead of chip bags, we're gonna use aluminum foil. I place the phone inside the envelope and then inside the foil. I start off by testing it with a cell phone call. As you can see here, the cell signal is blocked by the aluminum foil. Now I move on to testing the Wi-Fi using the aluminum foil. As you can hear, the video call still goes through just like the chip bag. I was actually surprised by this. I thought that one layer of aluminum foil would be enough. So I add a second layer of aluminum foil. And the video call still goes through. Now I add a third piece of aluminum foil. And finally, the call does not go through. So it appears that a few layers of aluminum foil on each side of the phone did the trick. You can see that the phone has lost all reception after I remove it from the aluminum foil. And after a minute, it reconnects to the Wi-Fi network. So is the chip bag a good Faraday cage? I would say it depends. There are so many manufacturers of chip bags that it would be almost impossible to treat them all equally. However, this Ruffles bag was able to block both the GPS and cell phone radios, just not the Wi-Fi radios. Maybe another type of chip bag would be better, but it also might be worse as well. Chip bags were not meant to be Faraday cages. So if you're looking for that type of thing, I would suggest purchasing a proper Faraday cage from Amazon. I have linked some in the description. And if you're really worried about being tracked, here's what I would do. First, turn off your phone. If the phone isn't powered, people can't track it. And remove your battery if it has that option. Second, remove your SIM card. And third, put the phone in a proper Faraday cage, or if you don't have one, wrap a lot of aluminum foil around it. If you have any additional tips to prevent people from tracking you, comment them down below.